let's come back to another guy who we think should be a candidate in 2016 if he can survive Bridgegate, Chris Christie. And it seems like every day as we learn about this internal investigation the governor launched to try to get ahead of the legislative investigation and the federal investigation, uh, the more we learn about it, the more you just simply have to roll your eyes. And again, even if, even if this law firm he hired did everything just right, and even if they played it by the book, uh, we learned a few days ago that a woman, Deborah Wong Yang is her name, he calls her a dear friend, he's vacationed with her. She was among the attorneys who questioned him. So if you're a critic, you say, huh, how can you let that happen? Now we learned yesterday that the law firm gave $10,000 to the Republican Governors Association, which Chris Christie heads, nine days before releasing its internal review that said Chris Christie did nothing wrong. I mean, forgive me, uh, politics 101, that equals, this. that's just pure stupidity. Yeah, you know, it's just this drip drip of bad news that is infecting the Christie administration right now. This is the guy who had been anointed as the uh, next Rep Republican presidential nominee on a, on a national magazine. He was the money guy, yeah. he would get Wall Street, and so all of this is causing Wall Street, the big money donors, to start to look elsewhere. Yeah, and it's causing a surge among everyone right. who isn't Christie, right? right? Rand right. Paul, Ted Cruz, all right. of these guys. Uh, and you can imagine if, if these guys run, all of this is going to come back uh, to bite him right. in a debate. You can hear Rand Paul now talking about the taxpayer-funded uh, right. investigation into this.